Hello and welcome back to Silverstone. In this corner guide we're going to be teaching you how to take turn 5 in tree. It's a supposedly simple corner but taking it wrong can really compromise your run down the Wellington Strait leaving you vulnerable to an overtake into Brooklands. In this video we're going to be looking at your racing line as well as your steering. These are some really key aspects that can make or break this corner. We'll look at some of the common mistakes drivers make around this bend and as always we'll wrap up with some key points to maximise your time around this section of track. And here we are coming around turn 4 making sure on the exit to stay as far right as possible. Full throttle as we approach turn 5 and making a late turn in using all the kerb on the inside and then running it right out onto the exit kerb to extend the track as wide as possible. Now let's take a look at that one in slow motion. So as you can see here we're exiting turn 4 and on the exit we want to get on the throttle and stay as far right as possible, not drifting left like some drivers do. Now we're taking a little bit of a late turn in and if we stop it here we can see that we're taking all of the inside kerb, even using the sausage kerbs on the inside. This is possible in a GT car but not quite so much in an F1 car. So if we carry on we see that we're running the car all the way onto the exit kerb to get the best exit onto the Wellington straight as possible. It seems simple but a small mistake can really scrub time. Let's look at some of the common mistakes people make around this bend. To know where we're going wrong, we first need to reinforce the two key points for success here, which are A, turning as little as possible to get around the corner, and B, gradually opening up the steering on the exit to carry speed onto the straight. The first common mistake we see is just turning in too early. It's tempting because of the space in between turn 4 and 5, but because you get to the apex at a higher angle, it causes you problems, as it'll either make you run wide, or you'll have to turn the wheel more in the second half of the corner, which is bad for carrying speed down the straight. On the other hand however, the second mistake that we see is actually turning in too late and missing the apex. This means that you're going to run out of space on the exit, which again causes you to run wide or forces you to turn more, which once again reduces your speed down the straight. And lastly, the third common mistake that we see is just overcorrecting steering mistakes that you make coming out of the corner. This is bad because every bit of steering wheel movement slightly unsettles the car, which just scrubs off speed. The steering should be one gentle motion to turn in and then open up as you exit the corner. This is not a corner that benefits from aggression, so make sure you take a controlled approach around this bend. Now let's wrap up with some of the key points for Silverstone's Turn 5, Aintree. The first key point to focus on is the racing line. You want to stay right out of the loop, reach the apex and use all of the exit kerb to carry the speed onto the straight. The second key point is not to panic. The corner can come at you alarmingly fast, and if you're in a race, the temptation can be there to overcorrect or to send it out wide. But remember that this corner is really just a setup for the Wellington Strait. We need to think one corner ahead at all times. 